Welcome back to Vault Hunters 118. In this episode, ooh, we got some fun stuff to do. We're going to start with opening a few crates, rolling some relic booster packs, because I really, 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 really want to get a new relic. And then we're going to hop into a creative world and get to designing the clock tower. And maybe after that, run a vault if we have time. And not only are we going to be opening crates, but check it out. I found an echo ore and duplicated it because copiously is the best thing to put on your ore pickaxe. Don't forget it. All right, we completed an elixir vault and two bounties. Let's see the bounties first. Minor bounties, but 10 chromatic steel ingots is massive. And for you, our elixir vault. Ooh, jewels, a new shield. That's nice. Oh, is that an epic helmet? I like it. Ooh, nice jewel. Let's see about the gear. I'm really hoping for a cool transmog on the helmet. Epics are really awesome looking. Ah, nuts. We already have that one. Ooh, pretty decent backup pants. And they're the donkey pants. And for the helmet? Uh, unfortunately, that is a low roll on the armor. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just scrap it because I don't really... I think our helmet's great. Yeah, we have a lot more time with this helmet. Alrighty, Relic Booster Pack time, and you know the rules when you do Relic Booster Packs, you gotta do mod boxes. Come on, give me something new. Give me something new. Ah, I'm not seeing anything that we probably don't already have. Yeah, unfortunate. Oh, we completed the Cupcake Relic again. Ooh, okay. So something really cool that these guys can be done. Uh, something really cool that these guys can do is if I craft it into a full Relic statue, I could cement it down into a bitter lemon. Uh, I guess, do I have the Beniatite to do that? Um, no, actually. And, uh, you know what? I might as well. But not before mod box time. Never forget mod box time. Ooh, a full waystone. That is lucky. I've been looking for, for something juicy like that. Hey, a mystery egg. Nice. More heat generators. Infinite heat generators. Mystery egg, go! What is that? Pillager. Ooh. Does that drop emeralds? I don't think so actually but still kind of interesting so if we take this relic pedestal and take our five cupcake relics and i believe we did a uh, cupcakes but then assemble right uh that's not the first time we did it so now we can take the cupcake relic item uh drop it into a furnace like so and it should give us a little bit of lemon there we go and if we eat this, it's 10% of your max health for 30 seconds to the vault timer. So it's three times as efficient as a, a kiwi. And I, I suppose I should... Yeah, I've got a bunch of lemons. Look at that. I will bring in my lemons as well as my kiwis. That is sure to make our next inscription vault much better. Welcome to creative mode, D Jojo. Here's where we're going to be designing the clock tower mechanism. So if you recall, I want to build the clock tower from Majora's Mask for our little create area. And uh, Editor Jojo, let's uh, let's throw up a picture of clock tower, the clock tower, so we can get into what we need to do. So the Termina clock is really interesting because it's an actual clock. You can tell time from it. That is the hour's hand. That is the minute's hand. That's the um, zero minutes mark, or like the 60 minute mark. There's 15 30 and 45 and then each of the little notches is another minute on the clock and in create you can make a functioning clock the thing is of course you can see the thing that actually spins around to tell the minutes is that outer ring and it's flush with the inner ring so that means we need to figure out a mechanism in create that allows us to do that but first i should probably build the clock to me, the coloring of that outer rim really feels like dark oak wood. So I want to see... Oh, I should uh, I should align it better. Yeah, yeah, that feels good. And then for the inside, it's kind of like yellow, red, and blue. And all of those are actually really represented by some wood colors in Vault Hunters. Oh, there's the daylight cycle. Get out of here. Scared it off. Our hand is sort of told by like a, I don't know, a, a, a thingy, okay? It's, it's a thingy. Okay, I kind of got into the building zone, but I, I feel like this is, this is coming together almost, right? We've got that yellowish wood color, the brighter wood color. I'm thinking maybe like this instead. 
and I'm trying to like get the details, you know, those little like details, squiggles of, of the red bit there. I don't know if it's coming through, but I did have an idea that I wanted to share of using buttons. Um, but I suppose I should chest if buttons can even go into contraptions. Oh, sweet, they can. So what if instead of having to use full blocks, I could use buttons to insinuate the small divot? Hmm, maybe. That's looking good there. And then there's that little like sun decal. That I'm thinking something brighter red, like the wool. Hmm, I'm not liking the red of the crimson wood. Is there any other type of log that's like very red in the mod pack? There could be. There's this blossom wood stuff. Uh, that's that's brown. Okay, I don't think I should include the sun decal because ultimately it's supposed to turn into a moon decal anyways uh, when it's at night. And uh, I have no idea how to do that on a spinning contraption. But this is looking okay, I think. I just, mm, a lot of, lot, of, lot of blue here. There, maybe bring up the yellow. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I don't think this is that bad. Could add a dark oak button here just to give it a little more structure. But uh, as far as like the face of it, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at the clock. I Could I do better in the space that I have? I don't want it to be much bigger than this because if you could imagine, you know, on the ground, that's, that's great. I even think this height is great. I mean, that looks, oh, I'm not going to lie. It looks kind of cool. Hmm, okay, okay, all right. But now we need to add the minute markers. All right, let's do that. Probably more buttons, actually. That might be too small. I wonder what it would look like if I just made them full blocks. Not that bad, honestly. And then I could do the dark oak button detail to make them look like little circles. Okay, okay, coming together, coming together. Maybe, what would this look like without the buttons? Maybe the buttons are the wrong play. Hmm. I feel like the buttons added texture that we're missing right now. Also, this, this, this one guy needs to... There we go. I think I'm liking buttons on the outside more than buttons on the inside and buttons on the outside. And definitely more than no buttons at all. I honestly might think that we have our clock. Yeah, legitimately, the only thing I can think about is perhaps adding some dark oak stairs? Or even better, actually, using frame stairs to simulate the dark oak wood look. Oh, that filled it in. That filled it in. That gave it a little bit of texture, too, because it won't, like, it won't kind of work on the on the same uh, orientation, right? So it gives you a, little, a few little lines, but that makes it look more rustic. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, aren't there frame buttons? Uh, that might be... That might be what, uh, what does it? The button fell off a... What? I feel like not having that planky texture makes a big difference. I think... I think this looks pretty good. We're gonna need a little bit of create magic. So, that is easy enough. That is actually the inner circle completely done because it's the hour's hand, so it'll turn nice and easy. My thought with the outer circle is to pull this guy back probably like two more from it i i think should be fine uh give a cogwheel some rotational power like so run that rotational power down and then back up right um there we go okay that is the hour hand turning uh i am going to break the power for now and what this is going to allow me to do is make like a brace, like arms that we can attach to this clockwork bearing to make sure that this guy is rotating from the center. So it's not an off-center rotation because that's another problem. We don't want an off-center rotation, but it should rotate as, oh, you know what? We have to move the clockwork bearing back one because this will rotate as the hour's hand and then this will rotate as the minute's hand is what I'm thinking. So if I... Boop. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no, it's Z fights. That's a lot of Z fighting. The gap I'm not too worried about. There's a gap in the game, actually. I don't know if you know that. Um, should I worry very much about it Z fighting? Oh my god. Okay. Woo, that makes me happy. <laughs> that looks cool. Oh my gosh, my elbows just popped when I stretched. Um, okay, so the Z fighting is 
unfortunate. Oh. <laughs> I'll just chalk it up to something we have to deal with. Because this is looking way too cool. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that... This whole mechanism works. But... But... There is... Another problem... That I think should be easily solved. Now I can barely find a good image for this. But... There are... Gears. There are cogs... On the side of the clock tower. Of course. Something to keep it spinning. The best image I could find of them on the internet. Um, I think they're blue. I might need to get my Switch and boot up the game. But we need a way to rotate them. And of course, either gear is going to rotate opposite of one another. Once again, I would need to do this trick. Oh, oh my gosh, it just occurred to me. The outer gears need to spin only every time the minutes, but they'll spin in the same direction. Ah, get out of here. And then, of course, if I glue that up and update the bearing, that will tick. Is that ticking in the right or the wrong direction, though? I'm thinking probably the wrong one. Right? That, that doesn't look right. No, that this guy should be ticking downwards. I, can't, I don't think you can reverse the direction a clockwork bearing ticks. What? What? There's settings on these? What? I didn't have to do- Oh! I swear, there is nothing, nothing about these having settings. Nope, I watched the whole thing. There's nothing about these having settings. Okay, well that, that simplifies minorly. I can't, I can't get them to tick in a different direction. So how, 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 how? I don't think sequence gear shifts are gonna work. I'd have to have them tick, a, like, in 0.6th of a tick, and you can't do that. Even with, like, look at this, you know, advanced create redstone stuff. It's, the, it's like, off and on, and, like, sometimes it gets it, and, and, and most times it doesn't, and it looks bad. So I'm thinking maybe I just have to bite the bullet and just have the gears constantly rotating um on this side you know we can give it a slower speed and uh maybe maybe it won't look so bad oh that was a little bit of mind-boggling great stuff but we're back on the regular world and we'll get some more clock tower stuff later for now i say we celebrate a cool build with some cake oh this should be fun hello cakes sweet wait is this a void theme? Huh. That'll be pretty dangerous. Oh boy. Oh yeah, this will be scary. Okay, well, at the moment, I am actually specced into uh, wooden because I want wooden chests. Oh, and I should mark just in case because cake vaults are actually different even than the last time we have uh, run them. You can see there's no more like out of. Cake vaults are just infinite but they spawn a little cake altar, 10% chance each room. Click the cake altar, the vault ends. Otherwise, the vault is infinite, and you can get as much item rarity and item quantity as your little heart desires. And naturally, we start one of these off with a puzzle room. Okay, cool. Uh, one green piece, huh? Well, I'm not gonna waste my time on it. I want rudins. I want carbon. I want bounty pearls. Um, I want the my dash to recharge all that being said if we do find an ore room yeah it is uh, instantly to the ore room now completing this vault is actually kind of a priority of mine not just because you know we don't have the full cake set and we need the full cake set that is not an option here uh but if we complete the vault there is a 20 percent chance i think that we get something called an augment which will allow us to force a void vault because that's the theme we have. Also, this is a gorgeous theme, wouldn't you say? Already, we should be getting quite a bit of stuff. Oh, hold on. Heavy. Oh, mobs get more health, too. I didn't know they added that. That's scary. Oh, or POI. Huge. I should probably have my minimap on, just in case there's a uh, dungeon around. I wonder, any echoes? 
Uh, not quite. Speaking of dungeon, am I hearing a dungeon or is there just something wild happening below us? I think there's just something wild. Definitely gonna wanna keep an eye on how much damage I'm taking, but so far, we have just been getting the luckiest cakes in the world. Cake, whoa, oh, scary. Uh, whew, Enderman, man. Uh, cake after cake after cake after cake. And uh, looking like we have a nice even spread of, oh yes, this is an ore one. Um, I'm gonna wait to get the cake here because item quantity obviously does not affect cakes, but I certainly don't need more uh, mob health and damage. Uh-oh, going up. Oh, hey, I hit a vault fighter. That's so lucky. Oh, my screen is so pink and dark. You know what? Okay, I'm gonna take the 2% because it is annoying to have that hue. Do we get some echo? Yes, we get some echo. I have come for the echo gems. Yes, yes, beautiful. And the black opal. Don't get me wrong, we're here for Black Opal too. I should explain for those of you who don't know that uh, these themes, the void themes, which this is like a cool void thing. I don't think I've ever seen this one. It's like a nuclear void theme. Uh, but void themes have a significantly increased chance of Echo Gems. I think it's like 20 times and it's like 10 times the chance of Black Opal as well. So they are really, 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 really nice to find. And that is of course why an augment would be so delicious. Oh, no, it's definitely around here. Uh, is it down, perhaps? Is it further down? Oh my gosh, is that a- Whoa, are those tier 4 Endermen or something? <gasps> Whoa! Oh my gosh, yes, those are tier 4. Holy. That hurt. That really hurt. Here we go. It was below me. Hmm, these cakes, they can be tricky. The vault, the vault is trickier. Ooh, it's getting pretty dangerous already. I hope we can find a Crake Altar before the vault gets too terribly dangerous. I mean, statistically speaking, we should be finding one in the next room we open. But, of course, that is purely statistically speaking. Um, obviously, it's all random chance. RNG, I hope it smiles upon us. And I believe they're just as easy to spot as obelisks. They have that same really tall uh, effect on them. Ooh, look at that. That looks like a pylon. Give me regen. Nope, bonus hearts, but still not bad. Oh, me oh my. A village room, huh? Um, <laughs> this feels like a bad idea. This feels like something I shouldn't do. Oh no. Oh no, did it spawn in the maze? <gasps> oh no, it spawned in the maze. I think I caught pink over here maybe? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, it's in the maze. All right. I guess if I want to continue this vault, and I do, I want to complete it. That means we're going down. Oh, I can hear them already. I can hear them already. Ah. I'm going to try to be good about, like, blocking stuff. Oh, whew. Leaving a trail of breadcrumbs. Oh, I'm so nervous. 22% mob health, 22% mob damage. Oh boy, and silverfish, silverfish, nasty, nasty silverfish. Oh, and it's so dark. I, I, I don't know if you guys can see this at all. I really hope you can. Um, just in case, I'll probably turn up the gamma. I know that's never the prettiest thing. Oh, I gotta focus on getting to the cake, wherever it is. I think it was in the other corner of the room. Okay, here we go, here we go. We're heading to it now. Somewhere around here, perhaps? Oh, spiders. Oh, spiders. I don't know why, but I feel like if a spider crits on us, we are done. That being said, I'm excited for these living chests. Ooh, they are full. They are taking a long time to break. That's nice, that's good. Oh, don't tell me it's down. Okay, it's not down, it's not down. Okay, so it's on this level. Oh my gosh, this is the most stressful room to get a cake in, but I have to admit this is extremely fun. Wait, no, I lost it. I lost the aura. Uh, is it on a layer below? I just don't know. I just don't know. Satisfaction. That is nice. Oh, get out of here, you little silverfish. I think I have a guess as to where it might be. I'm thinking it's somewhere around here. Go wait to your for a zombie, though. You're not being very nice by existing. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh. No, stop. Oh, the cobwebs are terrifying. No, it's not here? What? 
Oh my gosh, is there like another layer it could be on? Oh, oh, okay, 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 we found it. Now we have to get out, which is gonna be really easy. Oh my gosh, it was right near this. <laughs> I panicked so hard, it was right there. Okay, well I don't think I wasted too much time, which is nice. All right, uh, oh no, oh no. I heard about these, I heard about these. Oh gosh, oh gosh, it's one of the weird random mobs. Oh, it's a vulture, it's a, a scary vulture. Ugh. Come at me, vile demon bird. Ha! Gotcha! Wah, wah. Oh my gosh. Thank you, shield. Huh. Oh, pylon! Why is that pylon already eaten? Is it because I've backtracked? <laughs> is, it, is it because I backtracked? Is that why that pylon's eaten? Yeah, because I didn't mark. I hope if Mini-Me falls into the void liquid that doesn't, like, void liquid me. Why would it, right? And he's starting to get a little nervous about that uh, cake altar thing. I hear a bird. I leave. Hmm, I'm hearing a lot right now. Ow, bird. Ow, bird. So fast. So swift and agile. Is this another village room, or am I backtracking again? Oh, come on. It's another village room. I, I really want to complete this vault, guys. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's so kind of the vault. Okay, that's nice. All right, give me a crake altar, or I mean an easy cake works too. Uh, maybe I should start like checking around for them. That was a really risky little parkour maneuver I did there, huh? Oh, stop screaming at me. It makes me afraid. Oh, damage. Taking it. Ah. Oh, I am so happy that I automated the healing potion process because this this vault is really, really scary. Ah. Ah. Where is the other shulker? I hear it. Ow. Oh my gosh, it's around the corner. I, I, why can shulkers do that? Hmm? Why can shulkers shoot you around corners? I thought this was going to be significantly easier to complete. Ha! Yeah! Oh, thanks, Mini-Me. I don't like it that when the Mini-Me's kill the Enderman- Oh, boy. Uh, they just kind of scream for a while. I, I hate the Enderman screaming noise. Where cake. Their cake. My commentary has devolved significantly. This- this vault is devolving. This is not... Good. <laughs> I should be leaving. But I don't want to. I want to complete. I'm feeling stubborn today. Is that it? Oh, oh, oh. Oh my gosh, I almost jumped into void liquid. Get me out. What did I do? Give me my sword back. Why can I? Why can you do that? Why can you put your sword in the crake altar? This is the crake altar. Oh, Lord. Give me one chest. Oh, <laughs> Oh, we did it. I think we leveled up too. No, I don't think we did. <laughs> so we got 200 for the object. Really? It's 10 XP per cake. Okay. Wow. They really changed that around. Oh my gosh. How much echo did we find? Three. Oh, I did level. Okay. Oh my gosh. That was ridiculously stupid of me. That was like, that was the dumbest thing I could have done is attempt to complete that. But look at our crake. Uh, let's see any echo dupes. No, how sad, but three more Echo Ore. We're building a collection. And uh, yeah, terrible loot. We, we didn't do any looting. Although actually from the, the living chest, uh, 33 skeletons and uh, 67 knowledge from the few we looted is not bad. I, I definitely, you know, wanted to do more wooden chests, but uh, it was a void theme. I had to complete it. Okay. Okay, augment. Please, 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 please. I went through so much trouble for an augment. Ah!